Hey y'all, do you ever get in a funk? I'm not talking about a medical diagnosis. I'm talking about those times in life when your get up and go is got up and gone. When you're grumpy, no creativity, when you take two steps forward and six steps back. Well, I did some funky research and I learned that having a funk is really a thing. Athletes get in them and when they do, they can't hit or putt or slam dunk like they're supposed to. Scientists get in them and their beakers break, their lab rats revolt and their equations just don't add up. Writers get in them, we just run out of words. People in relationship get in a funk from time to time. Time and routine take its toll. So how do we break through this? Well, sometimes these people I've talked about get a new coach or a new game plan. They get a new job. They take a new formula to what they are trying to accomplish. Sometimes people in relationship take a new approach to romance. No, the common denominator in all of that, it's the word new. Some time ago, I was in a funk and I decided to go to the beach and shake it off. But when I got there, this is what I saw. And I thought, great, the beach's mood matches mine. But I decided to try something new. I prayed the scripture, renew a right spirit within me and began to look at the funky waves differently, paying attention to what they left on the shoreline. I saw broken shells, seaweed, litter, and footprints. And it occurred to me that sometimes when the funky waves of life come, they are there to shake things up, help us discard negativity, and get rid of the things that dirty up our life. This week, if you find yourself slipping in a funk, I hope you remember the lessons from the beach. Oh, and I also hope you remember this. It's a picture that I took at the end of my walk that day, the sun peeking through the dark clouds. It made me smile. And I hope it makes you smile too. And that's your funky Minute with Drexel.